What's up, my friends? We are here today at Great Adventure in this oppressive heat. Holy smokes, it's such a terrible start to the day when it took me 45 minutes just to get off the highway and into the parking lot. And a lot of that was because of the Hurricane Harbor parking lot, all sorts of backed up. So I saw the cops out there preventing U-turns, directing traffic and stuff. It was nuts. And then I come here, I see the parking lot for the regular amusement park and it was super empty. Like, I don't know what to expect here today, but let's get this started. That's right, I had started this journey to aim to get into the park around 12 and it took me about an hour later. I see that more and more people are getting into the park. There were quite a few buses in the parking lot, so good for them. Um, 50th stuff, is that officially underway? It's, the website just says June, but from what I can tell, there's still a fence way back there on the giant wheel. But before we investigate the big wheel, I just wanted to show you guys who's meeting currently. I guess Bugs is taking a day off or visiting Lola. But Porky is here instead of on Dream Street, and Foghorn Leghorn, a character I don't think I've ever actually seen at Great Adventure, I've only seen him over at Six Flags New England, is meeting and greeting. Cool to see. So the wall is very much still up, and I thought not too long ago we had seen some of the buckets for this, but I don't see any lights on this side. Is this the side that the lights are supposed to be on? It's been that long that I don't even remember at this point, but I guess the 50th is now being kind of pushed back till july 1st if if what i'm hearing is correct but yeah don't see too much changes here since last i was here on memorial weekend i see this area here where mrs claus told stories and you could have a princess tea time they have just made it for games here it was actually a nice little shaded spot for people to cool off but no longer the case now i am grateful to see these umbrellas set up here because there are performances happening right back there however there are none except on the weekends and probably some extra ones for July 4th. Taking a quick peek here at the wait times, we have Roaring Rapids out of 5, 75 for Nitro, 25 for Batman, no wait for Skull Mountain. I wonder if it's still in party mode. Harley Quinn Crazy Train has the wrong photo on it. Um, Jersey Devil Coaster, 60 minutes. Sky Screamer, 15. That did not look like 15. No wait for Justice League. We're going to find out in a second. And 75 for Superman. Don't know if I believe that from the line I saw. Walking in. The Joker at 80, I could believe because that line looked ferocious. And Medusa opening late. Actually, I kind of like that versus the closing early. Anyway, let's keep on going. Well, this side of the park appears to be a little dead. So Metro Grill, not open. We know nothing's going on in the Showcase Theater. And then this little guy, there's nothing going on in there. And there is Flash. I feel like this pretty soon is going to be testing, no? I didn't realize the spike. I thought it would be connected both sides there. That's going to be a cool video, though, whenever, uh, whenever it finally opens. I am assuming sometime in July, but it should be testing soon in order to meet New Jersey laws. But we shall see. I don't know. It, it looks done, though. And then for Justice League, I guess since nobody is in this section of the park, uh, it's, the line must be pretty empty. I don't know if I should do it real quick, but note that for Daily Ops, 12 to 8, so it does not open with the park. Oh, I see. They've pushed back things, and they have some dude going by there. And there is a lot of activity going on there, so that's why I don't want to put my camera over the fence, because I see people, like, right there. So we're going to just be patient come back for the next update in july but i wondered about these trees here are those too close to the track and need to be cut back it's probably because the tree is closer to me than the track is that it's hard to tell but all right things are looking good so far Well, it looks like Jersey Devil Coast are still on one train ops. I guess there's still that recall that RMC placed on this generation of trains for the Raptors. And the queue house here is completely full. Thank goodness on days like today, it is covered. Nitro, I believe, is running just two trains. I think I saw the other one in the shed. However, the line whew, is, a, is a decent 60 minutes, at least 75. Might have been actually accurate on that queue board the great adventure guide videos that you see throughout the park i should say meanwhile behind me king to car i'm not king to car roaring rapids super backed up as well it is a hot day it's in the 90s so this is unsurprising so 
So I'm just passing by Skull Mountain here. Skyride, no signs of life, unfortunately. Would be a shame to lose that. I don't see any of the sky buckets in there. And then this special events area. So goodbye, Chop 6. One less place to eat. A big one at that. Kind of a bummer. There's already pretty big lines for when the park isn't even packed. So that's a bummer because you can spend easily a half hour to an hour just trying to get food. This has always been an interesting little dead space to me. I remember there were coin-operated boats in this little area, and now it's it's got a sign back there that tells you the time. I feel like they could have probably put another flat ride here, but maybe they had the hookups for the water and decided to do something with it. And I mentioned flat rides because they're still very popular, like the Day of Chavu over there, this guy right here, and then the Buccaneer. I mean, if they added a few more along this line, they would have like a nice flat ride-centered area. And it's just, in addition to the coasters, you need other things in between that and the more kiddie rides. Passing by Joker now, and yeah, that line is looking pretty dang juicy. However, one nice surprise, because it isn't surprising the Joker is backed up, is that the bus, this giant Six Flags bus is back out. I think they had this out last summer as a photo op. How cool is that? Aw, logo is a mess, but this, very cool. I do wish they had rotated it some because you're going to be in shadow if you take a photo next to it when it's like the middle of the day. But either way, lighting aside, this is pretty cool to see. We're now here at Frontier Adventures and the Sawmill Log Flume, not open yet. My goodness, it is almost july but i do see that there is progress that has been made this trough wasn't here the last time i was here on memorial weekend but traditionally memorial weekend is when the log flume opens i think it got a pretty extensive refurbishment this year so i'm hoping that by july this thing will be open because yeah it's it's perfect for those hot days and it draws a lot of people so they get off of the pathways <laughs> the geese here are just kind of watching me with my camera i don't think they want to collaborate that's for sure, but there's a lot of them. Why are there so many here today? Uh, anyway, I did want to take a quick shot of this view. And there goes King Ka. Thank goodness that's operating. I still need to get photos of the ride attendants there because every time I've been there, it's been like super hectic or down or whatnot. I forgot how hard this one breaks, but there it goes. And then to my right, bone dry over here. Sad to see. Can't wait for when this opens. I wanted to make a video about riding, you know, opening day attractions and such, but we're gonna have to wait a little bit longer for that. I didn't expect this to be opened. I was thinking maybe July or so, or maybe at least during the weekends for Best of the West and the off-road safari. But basically the only thing open here right now in this area is the runaway mine train. Now over here next to the off-road adventure, that arena, that old arena that I once long ago saw Double Dare perform there, or record there, uh, that's getting demolished. That's currently in the process of getting demolished, and I believe it's for something big that's coming next year or in the coming years. They still got a lot of land clearing to do. You can see it when you're at the top of the Medusa lift hill and look down. You will see what I mean. They're clearing that whole thing out. Not much to say here about Medusa other than the couple of rides that I've done this year have been pretty great. But the ride operations are limited, and I've seen signs with conflicting times about when it operates. So definitely check the app or check one of those great adventure guides on the TVs that they have around the park to ensure that you don't miss it. I believe today it opens at 2, so it just opened. And now it's time for a very basic El Toro shot. Let's see if we can listen closely for those Intamin farts. Kindika currently has a pretty decent wait. I think that was an hour that I saw posted. So yeah, um, and they are running two trains. Before I forget to mention it, Zumanjaro is open. We thought this was gonna be closed for the season and magically it's now open again. Thank goodness for that. I feel like this ride is super popular and it would have been a shame to have seen it closed for that long. So now we're in that area between Superman Ultimate Flight and over here is Green Lantern, which did that get a new paint job? I remember it being covered for some reason. 
but here wasn't there a little quick service place around here somewhere and now it's gone where was that it was somewhere around here okay then it's long gone and now i guess we have this big empty area presumably for fright fest in the future they're going to be using that old place uh what was that for the redemptions for the season passes back in the day uh, that's where The Conjuring was, and I've heard that there's more IP coming this year, or it's rumored to come, but yeah, Green Lantern, not as befitting as being the coaster that you see when you first pull in. I haven't really been commenting on the food lines, but they've all pretty much looked like this. I'm currently inside Boardwalk Steak and Fries, and yeah, you'd be waiting a good 20 to 30 minutes for your food. It's a similar story here at the Garden State Grill where there's people just uh, pressed up against the glass waiting in line for their food. It looks like they might have rearranged this a bit. This is also packed, but is there a bar in there? I need to investigate. So just as equally busy, I think getting food today is going to be an ordeal. And yes, they did. They removed a bunch of seating and added like bar seating. So yeah, instead of another food location, they have snacks and alcohol. All right. All right, I'm hiding from the sun because, my gosh, in the 90s, I'm melting. I don't know how the people are doing it, but there's not that many people in the park here today. They're mostly in lines for food, for the rides that are open. There's still a lot of stuff that is closed, and I don't know if that's a weekday thing or if it's just closed in general and will be closed on the weekends. However, not too much has changed since I was here last on Memorial Weekend. It's a bummer to see because I would love to ride Sawmill Log Flume or the Giant Wheel or Big Wheel. What are they calling it right now? I don't know. Either way, um, entertainment would have been cool on Juneteenth of all days just because it is a holiday. A lot of people are getting off for that day now and, you know, you have to expect a bump in attendance just like I saw over at Hurricane Harbor. But anyway, let me know how you guys are feeling about the vibes of the park for this year. Um, last year, I, or was it the year? Last year, I wasn't really feeling it. I didn't come too often and waited for Fright Fest. But this year, I was really excited for all the 50th stuff. And it seems like that's now pushed off till July. So, I don't know. We're going to just keep tabs on it. I'm going to work on a few other things here. Some reels, some crew shots, and all of that. But for now, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time, and I hope you go make your own adventure. Bye.